I guess it wouldn't be right if I didn't break something. So as you can see, the uh, the oil pressure sensor is um is broken. Well, just the plastic itself broke off. So I just went on ahead and took it off because uh, I was trying to I guess fix it on the car, but that didn't work. So now. I'm just going to try to uh, JB weld it while it's off. Just get it right the first time, I guess. How's it going, guys? So, today, I'm going to start with getting this thing cleaned up and hopefully start porting the holes. I just want to get them smooth. I don't want to do anything drastic. Um, so, first, I want to do is I want to get this sensor out of here. This is the air temperature sensor. Uh, please do not break this thing. Um, it costs, it's a decent amount of money. So, let me get this out. All right, I'm gonna sit this in here in my little cup holder thing. I'm gonna also be removing the injectors so I want to get these up and maybe inspect the rubbers make sure they're still flexible and this just the hard one at the bottom so I'm going to move this over to the cleaning boot slash uh, where we wash clothes at but I'm gonna to have to wash it out properly so I'm going to get everything over there and then I'll be right back. All right now, so now that I've gotten the these um, soaking, um, I'm going to let them soak for a little while in the uh, engine degreaser here. And I'm going to clean them up with a toothbrush. I'm going to come back and, and remove that butterfly, but I want to show you guys something real quick. All right, so you see this bolt, this hole here, if you can see it, it's rust it's uh rounded out right so if you guys remember i was struggling to take the uh, bracket that goes it was a bracket that was connected to the intake manifold it's supposed to connect the bolt to the intake manifold and bolt to here so i didn't well, i never put this bolt back um for the simple fact that it was broken and i'm i'm definitely for for sure that that had a factor playing with the um playing as far as the um, the intake itself coming loop because it's supposed to help support the intake. So please try to put back everything as you possibly can on the motor when you're doing an H swap. So I'm going to try to tie, tap this uh, bolt. I went to uh, Advance, Advance Auto and got this cheap tap set. I think they have the cheapest one out of Home Depot and all of them in Harbor Freight. All right, so I just wanted a simple uh, tap set. Um, nothing uh, complicated, nothing expensive. This was like eight bucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a new thread for this uh this thing. Um, I'm not sure what size it is. I'm going to heat heat the uh, heat around the uh, the block itself, heat it up a little bit because it is cold. It's trying to get that that metal kind of loosed a little bit and um try to see which one of these uh works. So I'm going to test out. Whichever one works first, then I'm gonna go through the process of uh, process of heating it up and um, go from there. All right, so now I'm gonna start with heating this thing up. And be careful of any wires. I just want to get this block at a um, at a decent temperature. This is a tight fit in here. It is a very tight fit in here, so just bear that in mind. And I am using uh, the 3 8 tap, tap piece. And what I'm going to do is uh, spray some double D 40 on it. And then I'm going to slowly just try to get your hand as, as straight as possible. Work my my um or this thing in here. 
I got a 516th um, drill bit, and I'm going to try to um, get the old threads out first and see. That, the, I guess this drill did come in handy. So, safety goggles, please. Try to get the drill as upright as possible. Get all the metal out. Now let's try this tap and see how it works. This, shit, this thing is harder than I thought it was gonna be. All right. So I went down one size with a tap and let's see how this thing works. Getting some kind of bite. All right. So I guess th three eighth drill bit. Use a, a three eighth tap. So, there you go. So, um, feel like I've got it um, tapped in. This thing screwed right in. I guess I'll find out if I punch the hole in the block or not once I start up. All right, so once I put the, uh, the three uh, tap in there, it was able to wind itself down till it stopped. So, then that's it. That's as far as it go. All right. So I'm gonna see if this this uh this will fit. Still a little short though. But I got it threaded a little bit. Definitely would have liked it to be a, a little bit longer. Definitely. Let's see if this uh this thing fits in here. All right, y'all. So the night has come upon us, right? So the bolt that I had before was definitely too long. So the guy showed me a little trick. Um, no, the bolt the bolt I had before was a right right thread. It was a five sixteenth, but it was uh too short. So now. I went and got another another nut, but it's it's like super long. So what I'm doing now is I'm threading it in there, kind of seeing what what I'm gonna need. All right, so I got it I got it threaded in there, right, and so I would need something about. So after a few washers and stuff, I'm going to need something about this length. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it inside and measure it up, but i got to cut this bolt. So, I'll show, I'll show you what the guy told me. Alright now, so I've made my mark right. If you guys can see it. I've made my mark right here. So, what the guy told me was, put the nut on first, then you cut cut it to whatever length you need then you screw the nut back off and that's going to re-thread any 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 of the ends that flared that flared so uh, yeah because i was worried about when i cut it how am i going to get it threaded in there so he was like just put the nut on first then once you cut it you can um you can unscrew it unscrew it and it'll re-thread itself it'll, it'll take that take off the excess 
thread. So I'm 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 making all this for this bracket here because I'm definitely gonna need it. So I'm gonna get this cut and then I'll come back. On the final stretch, man. Don't ever use a dull axle blade. Final stretch. Well, I think it's done now. Just gotta break it off from this one now. Alright. Now I got the edge on there. Just gonna wind it down. Make it a socket that'll fit this. Alright, got the sander. I got it nice and flat. Just kind of use the, the, the nut to re-thread it a little bit. Just gradually work it off. Like so. Work out any any um any excess metal that's in there. Nice. There you go. It's not perfect. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to drop my nose, guys. All right. It's not bad. Need a wrench to uh, tighten it, but at least I got a catch. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that in there. So when I come, I'll just run the bracket down. I might have to put some washers on there. <laughs> Woo! Smoking that. Yeah! <laughs> it's just cold, y'all. It's cold out. That's why I was trying to hurry up and get this thing done before the sun came, before the sun went down. But uh, I'm going to do one more thing. The wife cooking red snapper. Making some progress. Just had to get this thing threaded out. You know, get a bolt set in there. Um, get the uh the thing to get the uh the intakes cleaned up. I had to go and buy some um sanding disc and you know find bolts. Bolts was pretty hard. So most of the day I was grabbing stuff from Home Depot, from Advance, from Pep Boys and stuff like that, and um making sure everything is uh, cop aesthetic. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn it. Closed. I just want to get these out. And when I was going to get the car tuned, right, the the tuner, which is uh, Justin at uh, Hub City Performance. You can always look him up. Great Honda tuner. Uh, that's one. He was asking me about the butterfly and if it was uh and stuff in the intake, and he was like, "Oh yeah, the butterfly stays open." Now, I have no idea at the time what he was talking about. Um, but yeah, now I know what the butterfly is. Now I got this uh this thing open. But um, they just stay open. So if they ever ask you if your um, butterfly is open or closed on the H22, they stay open. No point of um, no point of wasting time. So let me clean this up and then I'll be right back. Funny thing, I just realized they're oval shaped. They're not actually round. <laughs> All right. So if you see this tape on here, you already know. I am at the point. Of no return. That is my guideline. Make sure I don't go beyond that. Oh, this I, I see. This is gonna be a challenge.
This Harbor Freight thing sucks, man. If you can, see if you get one of these, put over your face so you don't suck in any metal. Put one of these over your eyes, please. Because I've been slacking on my protection gear. And, um, yeah. Boy, ain't no turning back. As you can see, we got one, two, three, four. Working on this one and working on that one. So I'll come back when I'm working on here. Smooth those with sandpaper. Actually, I'm not on the last cut. got some sharp edges that I'm definitely gonna have to take care of but um yeah, for the most part it's open so definitely gonna be able to see, see here. coming all the way through. Please make sure when you're doing this, be careful with this sensor. Be careful with all the sensors. Really can't take this one off, but be careful. This thing is definitely turning into a bigger project than I thought it was going to be, but I mean, why not? Because I got it apart. <laughs> I'm going to finish up this thing. Still got these stupid wheel studs, man. I can't figure out how to put them on. Anybody know how to put them on here? ARP extended wheel studs. I got two of them. Still in the pocket. I'm going to leave you all with just me grinding away at this thing. Trying to get it nice and properly done. One love. Stay up, stay blessed.